Hello everyone, today on the Doctor Who Guide we are going to be taking an in-depth look at Doctor Who, the collection, season 22. This is the limited edition UK Region B Blu-ray and I'm so excited to share this incredible box set with all of you today on the Doctor Who Guide, a community where it's all about helping each other grow our knowledge collection and connection with other Doctor Who fans. I'm your host Alex Patterson. All right, so this is story time, okay? I ordered this Blu-ray box set from rare waves and it arrived in quite a state and when i say quite a state i think i'll be able to show you here this is the box this you can see how like crushed in this box is that was the state that this arrived in look at this there's there was no padding in here but thankfully there was no damage that i could tell to this set it miraculously survived the only damage that i can possibly see is this crease on the bottom of the j card but didn't really look like that happened in transit that was probably how it came from the manufacturer this was still sealed i just had to open it up immediately when i got it because i honestly thought it would be broken on the inside there were two discs that had come off of of their disc holders. Thankfully, those disc holders were not broken and the discs were not scratched. This is what the box set looks like with the J card on. We've got this incredible artwork by Lee Binding, who continues to put out amazing artwork for each season. It's absolutely stunning on this one. I love the colorful blue background. Lee is really gone for showing us this incredible galaxy background that is part of the theme. You got those lovely 80s stars and flares coming out at you, even a bit of a round vortex in the background. And of course, there is the sixth doctor in the middle there looking absolutely incredible in the middle there we have of course the ronnie we've got the master we have the cyber leader we have the borad from time lash we've also got a dalek from revelation of the daleks as well as the Santaran, and of course sill from vengeance on varos this is what the front of the j card looks like this is what the left side of the j card looks like this is what the right side of the j card looks like this is what the bottom of the j card looks like with more information as well as this wonderful image. If you know what this is, you know what it is. And if you don't know what it is, then I won't spoil it for you. This is what the back of the J card looks like. And if we take a closer look, we can see a list of all of the stories included in this season. There are only 13 episodes in this season because they experimented with a 45 minute episode format. That's right. The new series wasn't the first series to experiment with 45 minute long episodes. We've also got incredible artwork of the Sixth Doctor and Perry there, as well as the Santarin and the artist in the background. I love the action and the movement in this piece of art. It just absolutely jumps off the page. I love that. And we have a list of the incredible new bonus features available on this set. And really, this is worth the price of admission alone. The new bonus features make it so worth upgrading. So if that doesn't convince you to want to get this set, I don't know what will. Taking a look at the incredible artwork by Lee Binding, here we get to see the beautiful, clean artwork. We've got the Six Doctor there, the Galaxy wonderful villains from the season. This is what the binding looks like. Up at the top, we have a miniature window of the artwork with the sixth Doctor there. Then we have the BBC Doctor Who and the collection logos, the season 22 ribbon there. And on the back, we have this beautiful artwork. Once again, Lee Binding doing an incredible job. I love that this is flying through the time vortex. And again, if you know what this is, you're excited. This is what the interior binding looks like. This is the top and this is what we have underneath. All right, it's the moment of truth. We're gonna open this up, take a look at that. Give me a sec to straighten out the discs. You never want to just spin discs around in their disc holder in case there's any dirt or anything that might scratch the discs between it and the disc holder. So always try and pick up your discs when you're straightening them out. Some disc holders, you do have that wiggle room because the disc isn't right up against the back, but with these types of disc holders, they really are pressed up right up against the plastic. So you you do want to make sure that you don't spin the discs in place because that can scratch them. What a beautiful booklet holder. We'll take a look at that in a sec. But first off, here we have the disc one, which is Attack of the Cyberman, rated 12. Disc two has the Doctor looking rather worn out and tired from Vengeance on Varos. Next up, we have disc three, which also has Vengeance on Varos, which is very exciting. We have, of course, Sill, as well as the Governor, rated PG. Disc four, the Mark of the Rani, also rated PG, with the Rani and the Master there 
there. Then we have the two doctors on disc five with the doctor and Perry. This is rated 12. Love this artwork. Disc six has the two doctors. Patrick Troughton as the second doctor and Fraser Hines as Jamie. This story is amazing. It's a multi-doctor story. I love it to bits. Oh my gosh. Then we have disc seven, Time Lash, rated PG. Then we have disc eight, Revelation of the Daleks. And then of course, if we remove disc eight, we see the sixth doctor's face. Oh my goodness. I love that. All right. This is kind of put in at an angle. I don't know if you can tell. It does give me just enough room to be able to access the discs, but that's always a design that I don't like about these limited edition sets is it's really hard to access. Kind of have to tip and go from there. Here we have the booklet holder. This is incredible. With so much Doctor Who art, you can tell what the reference image came from and it can kind of take you out of the artwork. But what I love that Lee Binding does is somehow seems to put these characters and actors that we know in new kind of positions. And I just love that about this artwork. This scene looks absolutely incredible. I'd have this as a poster on my wall. There's even a little Dalek in the back there. I've got to give you a close up. The TARDIS in the snow. Oh my gosh. And then the Doctor and Perry. And I love that the flap meets in the middle of the TARDIS doors. It's held together by some Velcro here. And if we open it up, oh my gosh, we can take a look. This is the booklet holder. I love that it meets right there in the middle. It doesn't overlap and ruin the artwork. Again, we have this incredible image of the sixth Doctor and Perry being attacked by some Tarans. It really is amazing. Again, I love the movement in this. Absolutely stunning. We get a little promotional booklet. Oh, look, they've even themed it around the sixth doctor so i've listened to the two doctors audiobook really enjoyed that i'm currently listening to time lash loving that time fracture here we have enamel pins as well as an escape hunt advertisement there's a doctor who companion set with oh a 15 percent off coupon you're welcome and an ad for doctor who magazine oh the lost stories the mind of the hodiac i love how tailored this is to six doctor fans the essential terrence sticks volume one and two available on paperback loving that and of course the Pirate Planet on vinyl, as well as Worlds of Wonder, and on the back, Titan Comics. Oh my gosh, take a look at that booklet. First off, we've got to take a look at this TARDIS interior. You have a Cyberman invading the TARDIS, and then the ceiling looks like that, and this is what the floor looks like. So absolutely loving that. Oh my gosh, one of the TARDIS rundles has been taken off for repair. We'll set this off to one side and take a look at the booklet. So this is what the cover of the booklet looks like. Change, my dear. Oh Oh my gosh. Welcome to season 22. Page two has a wonderful picture of Colin Baker as the doctor and a quote from Colin Baker that says, so many actors have said to me, you're really lucky. You've got the best part in the country and it is. Oh, that's amazing. So here we have page three. You can pause and read that. Pages four and five cover the contents of disc one, as well as the development of Attack of the Cybermen. Pages six and seven cover the production of Attack of the Cybermen. And we have this wonderful artwork work for Attack of the Cybermen that Lee Binding has done. I absolutely love that. You get the little characters in the background. We have this nice picture from Attack of the Cybermen. Page 8 finishes off the production and goes into the reception and after image for Attack of the Cybermen. We've got this little picture of Nicola Bryant and a cryon. And then page 9 has a list of the features on disc 2 for Vengeance on Varos as well as disc 3. Page 10 continues the list of features for disc 3 as well as the development of Vengeance on Varos, and that is continued into the production of Vengeance on Varos on page 11. As for photos, we have this nice one from Vengeance on Varos, as well as some lovely, lovely artwork. I love what Lee Binding has done. Page 12 continues the production of Vengeance on Varos, and page 13 finishes off the production and goes into the reception and after image, and we have a picture here of the governor of Varos. Page 14 covers the disc contents for the Mark of the Rani, disc 4, and we we go into the development of Mark of the Rani on page 15. Page 16 continues telling us about the development of the Mark of the Rani and has this incredible artwork with the Doctor, the Master, the Rani, and Perry all there. Oh my gosh, I love that. Page 17 finishes telling us about the development and goes into the production of the Mark of the Rani. And we have another picture from the story here. Page 18 finishes telling us about the production and goes into the reception and after image and has this nice picture of the Ronnie and the Master. Page 19 gives us all the contents of discs 5 and 6 for the two Doctors. Page 20 finishes telling us about the features and goes into the development of the two Doctors.
doctors. And we have this wonderful picture of the doctor, Jamie and Perry. Page 21 it continues the development of the two doctors. And we have this incredible artwork from the story. Oh, that's amazing. I love the two doctors side by side and the two TARDISes, as well as the two companions. Page 22 wraps up the development of the two doctors and starts in on the production. And we have this iconic photo of the second and sixth doctors. Page 23 continues telling us about the production of the two doctors and has this photo of Cassini. Page 24 wraps up the production and tells us about the reception and the cancellation. We have this wonderful picture of Patrick Troughton. Page 25 goes into the after image for the two doctors and gives us this lovely photo of two Centaurans. Page 26 tells us the disc contents for disc 7 with Time Lash going into the development of Time Lash and we have this tiny picture from Time Lash as well. Then it goes into the production of Time Lash on page 27 with this photo from the story as well. Whoa! And then page 28 has this incredible full page artwork from Time Lash. Oh, my goodness, how incredible is that? I love that design. Again, I love the movement, the bursting out. Page 29 finishes up the production and goes into the reception and after image for Time Lash. Page 30 covers the disc contents of disc 8, which has Revelation of the Daleks, as well as plenty of bonus features, as you can see continued there on page 31, as well as the development of Revelation of the Daleks. And we, of course, have some lovely Daleks pictured there. Page 32 finishes the development of Revelation of the Daleks and goes into the production of it with this incredible artwork of a Dalek and the Sixth Doctor there. Page 33 continues the production of Revelation of the Daleks. Page 34 finishes up the production of Revelation of the Daleks and goes into the reception and after image. We have this photo of the DJ and on page 35 finishes off the after image and we get a lovely picture of Davros as well as credits. Then on the back we have this wonderful image of the sixth doctor with the artwork from the cover continued over. In fact, if I open it up, that'll give you an idea of the complete artwork. Oh my goodness. That has to be one of the longest, most helpful booklets that we've got in any of these seasons so far. And we have a list of the incredible new bonus features. We have exclusive extended versions of Vengeance on Varus Parts 1 and 2, The Two Doctors Part 1, and Revelation of the Daleks Part 1. That is so cool. Oh my gosh. Behind the Sofa, six new episodes with an all-star lineup of classic Doctor Who guests. We have new making of documentaries for The Two Doctors, as well as a revisit to Season 22 locations with Colin Baker and Nicola Bryant. There are three In Conversation interviews by Matthew Sweet with Colin Baker, Nicola Bryant, and Michael Gray, the man who got classic Doctor Who put on hiatus and eventually canceled. What an interesting and possibly awkward interview that is going to be. New audio commentary on Revelation of the Daleks. That's so fun. Updated special effects on Time Lash. I love it when they update the special effects. Just brings the story to life in a new way. And a Blu-ray trailer for the set, of course. Incredible studio footage, rare behind the scenes material from Vengeance on Faharos, The Two Doctors, Time Lash, and Revelation of the Daleks. That's so exciting. It's like being a fly on the wall during the filming of Doctor Who. Exclusive archive treats, immersive 5.1 surround sound, including a brand new mix for Attack of the Cybermen, Slip Back, the complete BBC radio adventure, a PDF written archive that has been lovingly put together by Richard Bignall. And honestly, I am definitely considering investing in a Blu-ray computer drive to be able to access those PDFs because there's so so many cool things to explore that have been lovingly restored, as well as all the extensive special features previously released on DVD. So you can take a look at that information and credits down below. So if that doesn't convince you to want to get this set, I don't know what will. Well, there's one thing left to do, and that's put it on the shelf with the rest of the collection. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. All right. So here is my limited edition UK Doctor Who Blu-ray box set collection. I have season eight, season 10, season 12, the first edition, as well as season 12, the second edition, season 14, season 17, and season 18. And continuing on to the other shelf, we have here season 19, season 23, and season 24. Still don't have season 26, but this will be the shelf where I add the beautiful season 22. Okay, here we go. There we have it. Oh my gosh, that looks incredible. Seasons 22, 23, and 24 
side by side by side and of course the two six doctor box sets oh my goodness comment down below with your thoughts on this release have you got it in your collection will you be getting it when it comes out on a standard edition are you excited for october when the u.s edition comes out october 18th are you waiting for the australian edition to come out let me know in the comments down below what you think of the limited edition. I got this set really late. It came out on the 20th. I, it didn't arrive to me in the US until the evening of the 27th. So that was disappointing because I was hoping to get this video out earlier. Comment down below. I'd love to know your thoughts on this box set. Thanks so much for watching. Stay safe. Wear a mask. Keep growing your knowledge, collection, and connection with other Doctor Who fans. Albert the Adipose says hello, and we both hope to see you in the next video. Bye!